Peace fam, what's going on? It's Skates, it's been a grip, I know. Oh well. <laughs> Studio One Five is here, right? Um, and if you're anything like me, you've noticed that it's crazy buggy, has a whole lot of glitches, a lot of weird stuff, things are moved where they shouldn't be. Um, in some instances, weird programming, design issues. Um, and by no means is it stable, uh, but I'm not here to complain. And you know me, I normally do videos on how to improve your workflow and to give you tips on different things that you can do to like improve that. That's my thing, right? So what I used to do, I used to use my push inside of Studio One. Um, if you didn't know, you can use the push inside of other DAWs, you can, and you might as well get that $800 worth every single penny because it's very expensive, right? So I'm using a software to do this, which is called Ableton Shove. Um, you go to silenceandsound.com. It's $20 paid a developer, one man band. Um, it puts money directly into the one developer's pocket, which is fire. Um, you download a program called Loop MIDI BE. Um, when you download it, it comes up looking like this. To get it running, you type in from shove one with the same exact spelling as case sensitive because if I'm not mistaken, it's written in Python. You click the plus button and it shows up there. It always runs in the background, right? After that, you download and install the uh, shove software. And I'll show you what that looks like as well in just a moment. So what you used to do, you click the new keyboard button, right? And make sure all these MIDI, MIDI channels are selected. Receive from shove one. Um, don't do anything else. Hit the OK button. Then you would go to add another device in the settings. Go to Personas folder. Click the MMC button. Uh, the MMC does not exist anymore. And the re the thing that I was having issues was with specifically was the transport. So I wasn't able to record, and I wasn't even able to hit the play and the stop button and that was pissing me off but i found a way to fix it um the beauty in this is that i actually found that you can midi map anything that you want on the controller inside of studio one five down to the note repeat which is fucking fire because most other dolls won't give you that functionality with the exception of what people call quote unquote all head dolls like reaper and acid and other things like that uh, Cakewalk allows you to do it, and that's a free doll. I love Cakewalk, um, but none of that is important right now. So after all that setup, right, you come here to where it says external. You click this down button on shove. Click edit, right? Click the MIDI button. Now, word of warning, right here, right? Take a time out. My suggestion to you is to click a button and then assign it immediately and then click another button and then assign it. Because if you just start clicking buttons, you're not gonna remember what does what, where, how, when, or why. Um, that's just the way it works. So you click MIDI learn and then you click a button. In my instance, I'm setting up the transport because that's what wasn't working for me before. So I'm clicking the play button, right click this, set that to uh, button press last release. And I'm gonna assign this a command. So I'm gonna type in transport. And where is it at? And I'm going to set this to toggle start because if you just click the start button, it doesn't work the right way. I'm going to hit the record button. I'm going to right click this. Same thing, button press release. Type in transport. And set that to record. Right? Bong. Now I'm going to close this for a second so I can show you how to turn. Um, shove on so all you got to do once everything else is installed once everything else is set uh, you open up the shove um, software you click the on button actually you turn the power off on the push make sure that loop midi pe is running um, and then click the on button turn it uh, turn the push back on click the on button and it turns on right cool and then you're able to play anything and everything that you want to play inside of Studio One. Right? Fire. Now, let's talk about mapping everything else, specifically um, the different values for the note repeat. So keep this external open, go down to shove, click on edit. Same thing, MIDI learn. You're going to click one of the values here. So this is one slash 32 triplet. Um, Go to assign command, same exact way. 
type in note repeat. And you're going to select set rate for that actual value. So set rate 132T. And then you do the same exact thing for 132nd, 116th, 116th triplet, 18th, all the way down to a fourth, going straight down the line. Um, then you want to click the repeat button um, on the push. And then where do I have it set at here? Same thing. Um, after you click the repeat button, type a note repeat. And it's called activate, which is the actual button to turn that on. Right. And then when you click repeat, you'll see this window come up, which is fire. And then you can see all of the different values that I have uh, mapped and they actually change. And it works the same exact way that it works on the push, on machine, on any type of NPC um, fire. There's also like a node erase option. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options that you can do and you can map them, right? But these are all that I needed. I also took the liberty of mapping the quantize button, uh, the convert button, the undo, the delete button. Um, I mapped the tap tempo, the metronome, the uh, pre-count. Um, I need to uh, assign something for the post roll now that I'm thinking about it as well. So I can have for my pre-roll, my post roll. But just wanted to show that. And once all of that is set, you then have the ability to use the transport. Right, so there you go. It's just something that'll make you breathe a whole lot easier. Um, something that'll allow you to record and do all of the normal stuff that you would like to be able to do inside of a DAW. Um, don't ask me any questions in regards to what comes up on the screen because you can't really see it, but the answer is nothing. Again, it only gives you the ability to be able to use the uh, chord modes and the playability on the push. It doesn't work like, um, I don't know, is that pusher inside of, I think that's reason if I'm not mistaken, or um, inside of any other doll, like the, the screen functionality doesn't work. So don't even ask. Um, again, my name is Skates. Y'all have a good one and be easy.